Yo, so what's going on guys? K at the pier in Red Hook, Brooklyn, New York. If you don't know what Red Hook is, yeah, get ahead and look it up. But this is my first time at this pier, so I'm figure I walk about, tell you a story of someone I see here. Well, not here in this pier, but this project's called Red Hook Houses. And uh, someone I see for a couple of years. And during that period of time, you know, even after it started off good, months later, she didn't try to pressure me into giving her a child, getting married to her, and live with her. Those are three things to avoid, guys. Yeah, so, yeah, anyways. So, um, yeah, that relationship didn't end well, should I say. It didn't end well. Because I ended up getting depressed, you know, thinking that she was someone that would better herself. And turned out to not do so. And secondly, she went behind my back, getting with some other guy that she felt would give her a child, live with her, you know, and give her that fast money, by the way, because I found out he was a hustler in the neighborhood. Yeah, so, um, you know, I was just living my life honestly, working paycheck to paycheck. I mean, it was what it was. Yeah. But the good news was, after that relationship ended, I was free. You know, I was kicking it with different women. And didn't have to worry about getting caught in to marriage. Having a child. Living with a woman. You know, I mean, I was doing good. I mean, I'm doing okay now, don't get me wrong. So, uh, you know, I will admit. <laughs> you know, do I live under somebody? Yeah. I'm not going to say who, you know, just so I don't give anyone ideas but you know I'm paying my portion of utilities and so forth back then when I was with her I had my own place so after that relationship ended you know I was having my fun you know, I would tell women you know I have my own place they'll come through and I kick with them either I see them again or not that's how that went. So I'm letting you guys know, man, those that are young, because see, I'm in, you know, back then, this was like going back in the late 90s. I was in my early 20s. I'm now in my mid 40s. So, uh, letting you guys know that are young, you want to take notes now because you know, it's getting real out here. You know, with this whole C-19 and the jab that they giving on people's arms. You know, you think it's, things are going to become mandatory more and more and more to oppress people more and more and more. Simple as that. I mean, we're being oppressed now, but it's only going to get worse. And if you think you having a woman by your side today would do right... Well, in most cases, it won't. Now, I will say there's going to be a few women out there that would be right for you. A few. But if you have a hard if you're having a hard time finding that one, you know, there's no you know, there's nothing wrong in being single. If you have to look after yourself, guys, you know, without a woman, you know, massaging your back, you know, cooking for you, yo, do it, you know? I mean, not every guy out there, just like every woman, has that look and finding the right person. I mean, if you see that you're not getting that right person, guys, you just have to be laid back. Don't go fishing hard. It'll come to you if it's meant for if it's meant for you to have one. <clears throat> okay. Anyhow, I don't want to make this video long because. Um, this was a story going back over 20 years ago and um, you don't really need unnecessary details but I'm glad it was a relationship that did not last you know she felt that 
she felt at the time she found the one to give her a child uh, to live up in her place because she had her own place. Um, but I highly doubt they both got married. I don't think it led to that, but I'm sure she got quick benefits from the guy being he was a hustler in the streets or whatever. But yeah, I don't think they're with each other anymore. But like I said, you know, she went with him. He knew that I was with her. And, you know, they they got theirs for it. He ended up beating her up one time while she was pregnant with his child. Right, she ended up getting a black eye. In the process of her fighting back and all, you know, she then got him locked up. So um, they both got what they asked for while I was doing good for myself at the time, which I'm, I'm doing good right now. You know, but just as I'm speaking about this story, you know, I'm just giving you, you know, how things were back then as well. You know, like I said, back then I was living on my own. Now I'm, you know, living under someone that had asked me to move in. And um, I'm not going to say more from there because I don't want trying to kind of like, you know, keep myself confidential. No one, for no one to point out who I am. But that's it. Anyways, I'm out.